Hey, you got a sec? What's up? Um, a lot, actually. There's something I, I wanted to talk to you about. And it's actually pretty involved, so if you're busy, then... I got time. Um, I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. And if it does, that's okay. You're completely entitled to your opinion. Fish you off duty? Yeah, why? Sit down and relax. So, you know how I was dating Layla? Yeah, you told me. Well, we broke up, and it's, it's fine. I, I just wanted you to know that it's not gonna affect the way that work gets done around here. Good. Okay, that's uh, pretty much it. You okay? Yeah, um, well, there was actually this one other thing, but never mind. <laughs> Fishing oil. I know that people think I'm only about the job. Maybe they're right. But if you ever need to talk, the door's always open. I've always thought of you as a mentor and my friend. And man, I thought this would be easier to say by now. I... Just spit it out, fish. Whatever it is, I probably already know. You know. You know, I mean, could you just tell, or, or did somebody tell you? You're worried about rumors going around. No, I don't. I don't really care. Who knows? That's the whole point of this: is to get it out in the open. Good. I'm glad you told me. So, what is it? All over the squad room. As far as I know, it's not common knowledge. Marty and I ran into your dad checking out of the hotel this morning. What, he just outed me to you? I think he thought I already knew. <laughs> well, did he treat you to his whole fire and brimstone spiel? He did seem a little <laughs> old-fashioned. Yeah. You know, after I told him and my mom, I thought that I was never going to see them again. And then they showed up at my place this morning you know, before they left town. Yeah. How'd that go? <laughs> Um, you know, just the fact that they showed up was kind of a miracle. And it wasn't like everything was better, but it just wasn't all bad anymore. You didn't have anything to do with that, did you? You... All I said was you're a, you're a good guy and you're a good copfish. That's it? Um, Marty might have said something on your behalf, too. <laughs> She's dead. I don't think she said anything your father didn't already know. Yeah, well, I love my dad, but when I was growing up, Officer Fish was the law. So, for whatever you or Marty said, I'm grateful. Well, I know things aren't perfect, but they're okay, right? Yeah, I mean, my parents know who I am now. And there's a glimmer of hope that maybe they'll still be part of my life. So I guess that's all I can ask for. God bless America. <laughs> Now that that's over, I need some help on the case that I'm working on. Oh, uh, the BE soccer case? I, I'm totally in. Yeah? Okay. What do you know about Jared Banks? No! Okay, so let me get this straight. You like Jared Banks for his own attack. I didn't say that. The guy's past is pretty shady, and there's some inconsistencies in the story that I'd like to clear up before we rule him out. Hey, uh, I'm still waiting on the reading for the forensics file you asked for, but I did get a prelim. And? Uh, it was weird. They still haven't pulled any secondaries off of Banks' clothes from the night of the attack. No foreign fibers. No DNA, not even Natalie's. No, th that's weird, right? I, I mean, how is that even possible? This forensic report doesn't make any sense. You know, if Banks was in a brawl, there'd be evidence of the other guy on him. Well, an assailant did grab him. We do know that much. We have that on tape. But as a guy grabbed Banks from behind and not leave a single fiber on him. What are you thinking? I don't know, Fish. 
But you have a theory, right? Uh, about Jared? I understand. It's too early for a theory on Banks. Or anybody else. <laughs>